Primo Water was founded three years ago, and our goal is to deliver the world's best tasting water in environmentally friendly ways. And a lot of that is bulk water exchange at retail, similar to Blue Rhino, which is where our heritage is. We had a lot of our first success at Blue Rhino and started this company in 2004. Our business is really, you know, basically set up to grow, right? That's right. We grew from, uh, we were founded in November of 2004. So tell us a little more about your um, your IT infrastructure, how many employees, where your infrastructure is physically located, how many physical servers you have, and how you manage that. Sure. Our uh, physical environment is hosted here in a hosting facility. Our offices are across town. From day one starting the company, we built the company on VMware. We have had the only physical servers in our environment are our Cisco IP telephony. Uh, servers. Everything else has really been built on VMware from GSX on a couple of workstations day one up to today we're running six Dell dual processor servers over 30 VMs on those boxes and we just put in an EMC SAN to help further scale our infrastructure. So um, what does that SAN do for you that you couldn't do otherwise with VMware and Dell servers? Sure. The first thing that we ran into was bottlenecks on disk space, just having physical internal storage. The other thing is redundancy. We had licenses for vMotion, really liked the flexibility of vMotion and the high availability options of ESX. And by putting the SAN in place, not only are we getting more efficient use of disk, we're also getting more efficient use of the physical components of the servers, the memory and the CPU. So you can tell us a little more about the particular model of SAN you purchased? Sure. We bought the in S20, and the, the things that we really like about it is one, EMC owns VMware, and with our focus on VMware, we really like the integrations there and really excited about the opportunities to leverage the EMC SAN with VMware. But the other things are the multiple protocol environment. We're using NFS, we're using Fiverr, we're not using iSCSI today, but we like the opportunity to use that in the future. We're also using uh, both SATA and Fiverr channel disks, so it was really a good financial decision for us today, but with the flexibility to grow, we, we should have no problem scaling that NS20 to where we want to reach our goals in the next two to three years. So Mick, do you, could you manage this, uh, this whole ESX farm by yourself? I probably could, um, but uh, the, the team we have in place is we've, we have an IT director, we have a really an advanced help desk, um, Windows admin individual, and we have a .NET developer, and, that, and that's our whole IT staff, those three people. We also use some outsource folks. Um, we use Vero, we use folks from EMC, we use some other partners, whether it's to help us with the advanced features of our EMC SAN, the advanced features of VMware, advanced features in our Cisco call center environment. But in, on a day-to-day -day management, we are very capable of basically managing the infrastructure side with about one person. Wow. So. If you guys were to have 25 servers in a physical world, how, how many racks do you think that would take up? We, I would guess that would probably be two to three racks, depending on uh, if they were rack mount servers or, or order standard servers. And so how many racks are you using now? Today, with our Cisco call managers, our, our whole environment, our core routers, our core switches, it's all contained in a single uh, 40 rack. Wow. So can you tell us a little bit about your disaster recovery plan? Sure. Um, one of the things, we have never backed up to tape directly at Primo. We, in our hosting facility, they back up from the SAN to their SAN, and then they back up off-site from there. But the other exciting thing about the EMC SAN is that we have full redundancy, so as long as the physical environment stays fine, we've got a really good chance that our data will be available. And if we have hardware failure, we can... Uh, we can really do a good job of keeping things online, and the high availability options from VMware allow us to have really high confidence in the hardware that we're tying to that SAN. So implementing this SAN um, has really been our step to make it let us quadruple in size over a very short time period. Well, I appreciate your time, and good luck with the business. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much.
We use VMware to automate the creation of servers. A hundred images in a matter of minutes without configuring a hundred separate machines. We can rapidly create and destroy among the chaos and riots and use a bunch of thin, thin clients with no phone calls interrupting my dreams. What if the server goes down? We can reload all of the settings like instantly and offer high availability. Fail over, overworking so well, so well. What if the server goes down? We guarantee the data, data recovery. Our other data center warm and ready. Check out our virtualized hardware hotel, hotel. VMware results in massive consolidation and all that money. I guess we saved some. A smaller tech department servicing needs. VMware saves us a fortune in electrical cooling. It's more efficient in the space that we're using. The extra room can be obtained for a fee.